Hi, beautiful. So basically what happened was I was scrolling through social media. I saw a thing. What that thing was, was a straightener that was made of ice. It's a really bad way of explaining it, but it's this. It's a freezing cold piece of ice that looks like a straightener that you use to straighten your hair, but it doesn't actually straighten your hair, but it actually makes your hair healthier. It looks like a fun little thing to try. So I'm gonna do my hair with it today. Hopefully my hair doesn't freeze off my head or something and snap, or hopefully my hair becomes healthier. But me and you, we're gonna find out together. Oh, okay. Let's see what's in the box. There's nothing in the box. It is in the freezer. I did prepare a little bit for this. I found the directions. This is what it came with. So this has been in the freezer for like overnight. It is so cold. Ah, heat, heat. I'm just, I'm just being dramatic. It's actually not that cold. And it's a straightener. It also came with a spray that you had to put in the fridge. So I put it in the fridge. Let me figure out what this does, okay? Okay, it says to wash and condition my hair and use this on wet hair. So, <laughs> it says the more you use it, the better. Use it as many times as you can in a few weeks. And that's basically it. Okay, even to further my knowledge, I'm gonna watch their tutorial on how to do it properly because today, I usually don't give a fuck about directions. I wanna use this right and I want my hair to feel good. Okay. The aim of this video is to show what inverse can do by only using it on one half of the head. See, that's a good idea. I'll use it on one half of my head today. That way we can actually see the difference. Comb, section, and lightly spray ice mist on both sides of the dry hair. Got it. Run your frozen device over the section you have just misted until the hair feels cool to the touch. One side will feel silky, soft, and smooth, and the other dry and gritty. The inverse side will have beautiful shine while the other is dull and flat. The more you use inverse, the better it gets. I'm not getting it. My brain isn't working today. Let's see what it says on the website. The fiber itself changes, locking in moisture improving strength and elasticity within the hair. As a result, you get healthy, soft, shiny, natural, gorgeous hair and your color lasts twice as long. Oh, I don't know. Moisture is the foundation of healthy, more manageable hair. It's supposed to lock in the moisture more because it's cold? Why does it matter if it's cold? Like I just looked up what happens when you freeze your hair. It says it becomes less pliable and more vulnerable to breakage. What happens when your hair freezes? Our hair is porous, so it easily absorbs and holds water. Since water expands when it freezes, all those expanding water molecules stress and stretch your hair cells to their limits. I mean, we're obviously, we're not freezing the hair. We're making it colder, right? Like you're not literally putting your hair with water in a freezer and freezing it. So I don't think it's that extreme. It's not gonna break my hair off. And obviously we all know that like, if you use cold water after your shower, like it makes your hair shinier, very little bit more shiny. I don't know. I don't really ever tell people to do that because I think it's a little kind of dumb, to be honest with you. It's supposed to like make your hair colder. I don't get it. I just feel like once your hair warms up, isn't the moisture just gonna be gone again? I actually want to tell you guys how much this thing costs because I think it's expensive. I got the kit, which is $124. So hopefully it does something. 124 big ones, baby. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hair because that is what's recommended and to condition and I'll be back to try the inverse sh out. The inverse thing is back in the freezer, okay? I'm doing this all correctly because today is about following directions. The hair has been washed and the instructions are very unclear to me because the tutorial that I watched online said to compare your hair side by side one side with the inverse thing and one side without but my hair is wet and then this card says it recommends to start from wet but how does my hair dry and then I thought that spray thing was to put on dry hair because my hair is already wet I don't know what's going on do I dry my hair after with a blow dryer but that doesn't make any sense because it's gonna heat my hair up I feel like I have to dry my hair first why would I use it on my wet hair oh, I don't this is so confusing. Okay, I watched another tutorial. I know what to do. We do not use the spray if our hair is already wet. I'm gonna part my hair down the middle, do the um, inverse thing on one side and nothing on the other. Then I can blow dry my hair once I'm done with the inverse moment. So let me section my hair and we'll get started. Okay, I'm ready. I'm actually kind of excited. I feel like this might do something or maybe it won't do anything. <laughs> I don't know. I can't really section my hair out. So we're gonna like run through the whole thing. I just popped this bad boy in there. Look at how cold it is. This thing is icy. Okay, that's gonna go on my hair. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck. To me, that sounds like an awful idea and it sounds like it's gonna lead to breakage, but I'm willing to sacrifice my hair for you guys. What about my hair for? It's stuck. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh, no, 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 no. Don't rip my hair out. <sighs> they said it might be too cold, so there's my hair on it. Um, yep, so we're gonna warm this up with some good old body heat, baby. Okay, I mean, it's not sticking anymore, and my hair is definitely freezing. Whoa, my hair is so cold. <gasps> Whoa. Does that mean in the winter I should just go outside with freezing wet hair? I'm gonna be honest right now, this feels like it's doing absolutely nothing to my hair. I just am having a hard time getting convinced of this. I am a skeptic, and it's still getting stuck to my hair. Oh, that is more hair strands. I don't like the idea that my hair is coming out. I don't have a ton of hair, so if we could like avoid that, that'd be amazing. I'm like refreezing it by putting my hair through this thing. Oh, just not the front, not the front. No, 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 no. Not the front breakage, please. Don't clamp down too hard. I'm going over every strand like a hundred times, so don't tell me that I'm not doing enough. They said the more you go over it, the better or something like that. So, baby, I'm about to do this shit a hundred times in a row. It does feel really refreshing. I'm very warm right now, so I'm like... <sighs> Um, kind of getting tired a little bit. So this is gonna lock in my moisture. Girl, I don't know. The only thing it's doing is just making my hair cold right now. I'm excited. Ah, ah, ah. <gasps> oh my God, I just ripped out so many pieces of hair. I don't like it. Look at my hair in there. I thought this was supposed to make my hair better. I really want to like this product. I'm not even kidding. Like, I really do. I'm always rooting for small companies and other, you know, not as well-known brands. So I would love if this would work. But I'm still going to give you, like, an opinion about if it doesn't. And why maybe it doesn't work. Or why, you know, if it doesn't work, I'll let you know. But in a very nice way. Guys, I just don't think there's any, like, scientific facts that back up if, like, like putting ice on your hair is real. Like freezing your hair, the only evidence is that it's not good for your hair. So I don't know where we thought like maybe it would be great to put ice on our hair. It also says like the more you use this, the better it works. So maybe I'm not gonna get as like great results if I just use it once. Okay, that seems like enough going around with this. Should I blow dry my hair now? It feels like I did a lot. Ow, you bitch. My hair definitely doesn't look any different. Not that I was like really expecting it to after freezing it. This is the other side without the cold. The side is definitely colder and it's like staying cold. <sighs> Maybe a little bit more. What if I just stuck my head in the freezer though? It seems like that would be more efficient. All right, let me get this sh dry. I'm gonna use a low temperature. I'm gonna use like the, you know, least hot setting. That way we keep it a little bit on the cooler side and I'm gonna do the same thing on both sides and we'll see what's going on. Okay, here she is. Ooh, this side is done. This is the inverse side. Does it feel soft? It feels normal. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, it feels normal. But let's see if my other side comes out a little less soft. Hello. Should I wear my hair like this from now on? Hillary. Okay, we are done. As you can see, I don't know how to do a middle part. We all are aware. Actually, is that a middle part? Hold on. That's a middle part. Sorry, fuck with me, bitch. I know how to do a middle part. It's usually my weakness in life, but I did it. Okay, let me do the moment we've all been waiting for. Let me take these babies out and let me feel both sides. This is the side I did the inverse thing with, and this is the side that's just my regular hair. Visually, do we see a difference? Let me give you an up close. Inverse. No inverse. That was my phone. Hopefully that's okay. Let's do a little taste test. <laughs> I'm not tasting it. I'm just, oh, I don't know where that goes. Hello? Everything's reversed on the camera. I don't know where it goes. Okay, I did it. I'm gonna touch it now. Wow, I have so much damage right here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be completely honest. It does feel exactly the same on both sides. There is no difference. This is still a little rough. This is where my weak 
hair is. My hair back here feels very soft. I don't know if I'm supposed to feel like a difference right away. Actually, you are. Because the tutorial, the girl did one side and not the other, and she was like, whoa, I'm shook at how different this is. But I'm literally feeling nothing. So we're gonna give it the benefit of the doubt, and we're gonna try more. I'm gonna use the spray on my dry hair, and we're gonna do this one more time. <laughs> just to see if anything more happens, because I am rooting for you, Inverse. I wanna see something happen with my hair. All right, I'm gonna spray this stuff on, which all it has in it is just water, citric acid, sodium citrate, and phenexthenol. I don't know what those things are, but we'll find out. This feels so wrong. I literally just dry my hair. Now, let me do some more of this. That went through the hair much easier, I will say. It just slides better on my dry hair. But I'm also kind of sad because I just don't know if this is gonna do anything and I want it to do. I'm expecting a miracle. Oh, my hair is stuck again. Come on, come on, come on. Warm you up, I'll warm you up, baby. Don't worry, I'll get, oh, no, 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 no. Stop pulling my hair out. I'm like using like a flat iron, I'm like, Let's get some curls in there. Brad, it's not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna keep doing this until my hair is fully dry again. So I'll be back in 80 hours and I will be freezing my hair until then. I'm gonna do a lot of strokes where my damage is right here, you know? A lot of slow and steady, easy baby strokes going on in there. Strokey my dudes. This is where I'm gonna really notice like if it's getting better or not. It does feel a little bit nicer now. Hold on, baby. While my hair is drying and while I'm ironing, let's talk about what is in this product because um, is this what's making my hair feel a little bit smoother? Let me see. So we have water, got it. Water, we know what water is, I think. I think most of us know what that is. Citric acid, which helps with the pH of your hair and brings the pH level down, making it smoother and softer and less frizzy. Sodium citrate is another pH balancing thing in cosmetics. Yeah, it's gonna make your hair smoother as well. And then we have phenoxyethanol, which is just a preservative. That doesn't really matter. So this product is supposed to make your hair smoother. Is it this that's making my hair smoother? Or is it this product? I don't know. It's a combination of both, allegedly. <sighs> I've been doing this for like 30 minutes. I am putting in the work to make sure we get results here. My hair is dry. I'm gonna ready for round two, baby. Let me brush my hair, make it even smoother, hopefully. And this side, because we're doing even. It's even on both. This is the iron side. And this is my natural hair without any ironing. To me on camera, they look pretty much the same. My hair does feel very bouncy though. Let me do a little touch and see what's going on. Okay. Um, God, my cuticle is so rough. That's all I can think about right now. I'm like, oh my God, why is my cuticle so rough? Oh yeah, because I bleached my hair a hundred times and it's still somehow on my head. I'm sorry, man. It just feels the same. I'm trying to feel some kind of difference, but it's not working. It feels smooth up here on both sides. You know, my new growth, my natural hair color. It starts getting rough on these ends and that's pretty much it. Let's come to some conclusions here about the inverse ice straightener. So did it work for me? I did didn't notice a huge difference. It did not damage my hair. I did lose a few hair strands here and there, but it was nothing like crazy. I did research on, you know, if using, you know, cold water or freezing your hair really makes a big difference. And it can, it's not going to like completely change your hair structure from the inside out and make you all of a sudden have beautiful hair. It's gonna temporarily make your hair shinier and look nicer, but I also think you can achieve the same thing with hair products. And it's a lot easier to just put hair products in and call it a day. I think this is a cute little like treatment I wouldn't say like it's the worst thing ever. If you have an extra $137 spend on this, wait, it's actually $124. And you want to um, try something new and maybe it might work for you better than me, then I say go for it. It's an interesting concept. I appreciate the idea, but for me, it's gonna be a no. I would not probably use it again. I don't like to spend a ton of time just like straightening my hair for fun. I'd rather just use a product and move on with my life. I wish this did something more. I mean, I was really excited for it. I wanna see a bigger difference next time. I don't know. Well, that was fun freezing my hair. If you guys like to check out my hair care line or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmonohair.com. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.